yeah now the recording is also started Uh, I don't know some setting is changed I have not changed but I just need to click them let them in uh, the students who are joining sorry for any inconvenience but I will try to keep an eye on this window okay so today's PowerPoint slides uh, in last lecture we had still more slides to complete until our time class time was completed so what do you guys suggest we should uh, complete those slides also or we just start with the new slides let me go to the chat window and just have a quick poll um, i'm fine thank you very much for asking and uh just a question that students any students completed the previous weeks more slides that i have recorded after the class uh, any students completed that any students voluntarily if want to reply or okay what we should do i just start the new slides for this week and if we got some more time after completing these slides then we will complete together the previous week's slide uh, otherwise you guys can complete yourself i have recorded all the slides in the videos how you should complete them and you can watch them and complete them so we start for today's uh, new slides so this is our week number four and we will have a similar assignment also for this week as we have before so along this uh, along the class please complete the slides and tasks that we are doing we will be doing together and i think so i have completed eight pictures so but at the end of the class we'll be able to add two more pictures so i'm just planning that every week we will have 10 pictures so it will be easy to remember for students and for me also that we have always 10 slides to complete so let's start for the today's class usual type of assignments that we complete every week it's just a similar assignment and we are more and more studying the SharePoint online features and of course we know a huge amount of data is every day created that needs to be securely shared and managed that is the main topic of our SharePoint but now Microsoft has included a lot of lot of functionality in these topics SharePoint online and uh, Microsoft uh, Teams so we will be studying many of those features that are a uh, very nice way for the collaboration and sharing whenever we are sharing some information we need to make it secure so it is shared only with the people that we want to share with and if we like to collaborate that they can also edit the things files or sites or messages so they should be able to and the only the people that we like to that we want to allow the company wants to allow they should be able to collaborate so this is the main topic and our lecture will be uh, geared around these aspects so just in case if anybody has not registered yet with office 365 e5 trial uh, you can use these slides and start one trial subscription if already started and some of us will be soon for some of 
soon will be expiring because it's 30 days trial version so then we have to we can create a new one when usually after that we log in at office.com uh, we reach here like a similar page of office 365 home page and from here usually we start if this site this page comes to you as usually it comes to me also we just can clip skip now for 14 days uh, today we will see the option that what will happen if 14 days uh, elapse and after that we have to use this authentication what will happen is just usual like many other sites are using uh, two ways to authenticate one login and password and the other is uh, verification through our phones so it's just like that usual uh, verification but we'll go through that if in case uh, we have to or you guys can do it yourself I believe this should be easy everybody can do it uh, we will see uh, if we have to uh, go and uh, perform a, a, a verification let, let me show you let me show you at, I'm already logged in but I can log out and log in again so we can see if I need or you guys will log in and we'll see that if we need a uh, uh, double verification this is my incognito window and I'm just closing this window and starting once again and usually this window and I have set the settings also so do not keep any record of my username password any cookies anything so most probably it will ask once again let's try just start a new incognito window I'm using the Google Chrome and I'll go to office.com and see what happens yeah see it's asking for the uh, sign in so I'm signing in with my name MS that I have created the account at comp p one two one z I added the Z at the end of the course name uh, then is dot on microsoft.com and click next as we know and get the password sign in and see approve the sign in request this is asking for a double confirmation I have already gone through the process and now this verification request comes to my phone directly and then I can just click on it and then it will let me come in it says approve so I will just approve oh it already said denied it's really quick <laughs> Uh, but let's see I think so it is approved because it is going to the next screen so let me stay signed in yes yeah it is approved uh, anyhow the message on my phone came that it is denied but somehow it's gone through and now this is our start page that my service office is if I have all these things most probably you will also all the students will have these uh, options on your left hand menu and these are the things that we use these are recommended and there are often like these are all these are my recent and if shared something just these are the shared things that I have shared with or somebody has shared with me the favorites we can add something if we like into the favorites I'm just uh, looking at if somebody is waiting no, it's okay. Uh, nobody is waiting. Okay, so I close the chat window also. I have my headphones on. So if you guys want to speak, you can say something and uh, unmute your mic. And uh, two students just joined. 
Okay, so what are more of our topics for today? We want to go through the process if we have not already registered with the uh, dual verification and how we do that uh, because I have done already so it has not asked me many things. Uh, if we have not registered then the system will uh, go through the process, similar screens you will see like this. Uh, it will ask on your phone install Microsoft Authenticator app. I have not that before and then I clicked here download now and then I went to my phone and downloaded. I just searched into the uh, because I have Android and so I can uh, search into Android Play Store. With your iPhone you can search into App Store and you will find um, the app from Microsoft, Microsoft Authenticator, like this one. If I'm changing, yeah, I'll be changing some things uh, during the class, so I will save as a next version and upload after the class this file once again. Let me just save as this file and create a next version before it is shared with you guys with version A, and now this will be with version B. The file name will be C3121 week 04B. B shows the next one. This I'm creating at random. This is any name is okay, but I'm just keeping this name. So save. So this will be next version. Just easy to uh, eliminate any confusions when I upload the file once again. If you have previous file, uh, you can keep it or if you like, you can discard it and keep this new file. Uh, so this is the app that we need to install on our phone then we need a double verification Microsoft Authenticator and then we go to the Google Play Store and this is the app Microsoft Authenticator you can click install And we can complete this setup from our Microsoft 360 account also. If we already, if we are already in the account, then we can go to admin and then from there we can also start uh, verification. How we do that? Let's go into the admin and we will see. We can click on active users. Okay, then my incognito window here we go to the admin admin center and then we will go to the admin center for our especially uh, SharePoint admin center so now my tabs this one is office 365 home page this one is page for the home page for the all the admins uh, not all the admins sorry admins and the second one is the third one is the uh, tab for the uh, SharePoint Admin Center. Okay, so in SharePoint Admin Center, we click on the. We need to go to the users. Okay, we have been not in SharePoint, but in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Yes, either you have users. Click on Active Users. You will see your own username. Uh, students are waiting so I'm letting them in I don't know why this setting and how this setting is changed but next time until the next class I will try to uh, change again this setting that students should be able to join on their own and this is my username so I just click it and but this one okay let me see this one this one this one when we here we we click on the username then we can here what it says yeah manage username email no not this one uh, yeah this one multi-factor authentication when we click on a user we can click on multi-factor authentication uh, for example if we are admin and we want to start this multi-factor authentication for all users or for a specific user we can do that how we do that we just click here select the user click on this one multi-user authentication and all this list will be here in front of us if we are not registered ourselves then it will first of us ask first of all the system will ask ourselves to register for multi 
factor registration authentication and after that this list will be in front of us. So here see all are disabled and surprisingly mine is also disabled but it asks me all the time. So I don't know how this disable works. Uh, it's uh, sometimes annoying but it's also a good way for uh, in real life it's really good for keeping away the hackers because we have just username and password and hackers are um, of course everything can be broken by uh, anyone or someone who is trying really hard to hack the system and he knows the technology uh, but of course there are of course always like a continuous effort that ourselves we want to save and hackers they want to try to hack but this uh, double factor multi-factor authentication is uh, at least uh, making the, we cannot, I don't know how to measure this effort, but it's really good effort for the good, good aspect to keep them away, that we have two ways to authenticate. One is the username password and second will be the authentication from our phones. So I'm just going to enable it, enable multi-factor authentication. Yes, I will enable, it's anyway already enabled update successful, then we close and see here now we see multi-factor authentication is enabled. So this we can do for any user that we like to, for example, if we click for this one, but if it is not registered, then it will be a question how this user will register, but we can enable from here and update successful, it will be enabled. Now next time when this user will log in, the system will ask the user to uh, authenticate in with two methods. We can try with this one because I believe I know the password for this one. Sorry, not this one. The global admins, remember? Yeah, global admins one, two, and three. One is already logged in. We can try global admin two. See if I enable and multi-factor authentication is enabled, uh, we see this yeah, global admin 2 enabled, then let's try to go and log in. Here the user 1 is already logged in and I believe if we just go there without uh, logging out, we will reach to the same page and it will not let us in as a new user, but we can try. Office.com it goes directly there. Okay. I just start an other browser. I have already Firefox. I have already Google, uh, regular window and incognito window. I can start Edge or uh, Microsoft um, Internet Explorer. Edge is here. Okay. Let me click on Edge. So here I can write office.com and I try to log in as a different username. Uh, oh, so that's already registered with it. Uh, so this is mine. Okay, how I can do that? I will close it, but before that, I go to the settings. Go to the settings and uh, sign out. No, I don't want to sign out from this one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, we have to sign out from this one. Okay, sign out. Okay, somebody is uh, waiting. I just let him in. Uh, you want to sign out? Yes, okay, sign out from here. And now I want to clear all the usernames and cookies and everything. So how I can do that uh, from the edge search browser data okay microsoft rewards personal info payments import browser data profile no it's not here hmm. okay let me try if i have um, internet explorer IE. No. Let's try once again. Yeah, Internet Explorer. Yes. Let's try this one. 
if I have not logged in again and the uh, firewall is turned off, use recommended. No, don't use recommended. Let's see, because otherwise it will ask on every new site to register it. Okay, here, sorry, here I want to go to office.com. I'm just trying to log in with a new user so we can see now this one is also registered with some username which one the ms yes uh, this one is registered already hmm. okay let's see if i can get rid of this information quickly settings and browser history no results okay only history uh, much of rewards clear browsing data now yes clear browsing data now and choose what to clear clear everything history download history browsing download history we don't need to browsing history cookies and caged images in a file yes clear now okay all is cleared i close the internet explorer then i started once again which one is closed okay this i don't want to close and this one no and this one no so i start once again internet explorer internet explorer It's downloading on his own the Microsoft Edge. Oh, I closed the last window, last tab. Internet Explorer. They want to show first of all. They want to show. Okay, Office.com. I'm trying to complete quickly so we can complete more and more of our classwork. We don't want to switch Microsoft Edge. Yes, now it's asking to sign in. I will sign in with a new user that we have forced to go through double authentication. So let's see what happens. Okay, this is fine. And let me go in. Oh, it's already in with the same information. Now, this is another user name, and I don't know why this is logged in with this one now oh, I have cleared all the information and still this one is here okay let me try once again settings and history history clear browsing history choose what we want to clear browsing history cookies uh, let me see password that I don't want maybe this is keeping it okay let me clear all the passwords I'm not using often Internet Explorer autofill data also site permissions also okay all data from the previous version of my so media foundation data everything and download history maybe yeah download history also whatever we have downloaded clear now okay let's see what happens now I just close it started once again Internet Explorer and we go to office.com and see what happens now. Okay, we, I click on sign in and see what happens. Uh, what is this? Yes, upgrade to my flag. No, yes, I'm sure. Explore the word with your desktop. No. Okay, sign in. See what happens now. Now it's asking which user. Somehow he's still having this information and this is signed in already. But I want to say use another account. At least it's giving me option to use another account. Okay, now I want to log in as 
Mohammed Global Admin 2 Mohammed Global Admin 2 at COMP3121 Z dot on Microsoft dot com. Let me see if the spellings are correct. Is there a Let me see. Next. No. Uh, okay. I have to see which username I have given there. Okay. Muhammad Global Admin 2 at. Uh, can I copy it? Okay, at least if I can copy this portion, then I will. My goodness, where I'll go? Oh, this was already in Edge. My goodness, they force us to use what they want to use. But anyway, okay. I just click once again. The Microsoft account does not exist. Okay. This portion, I copy and paste Muhammad Global Admin 2 at COMP3121Z on Microsoft.com. Let's see now. It still says no. Muhammad uh, Global Admin 2 comp 3121 z dot on microsoft dot com hmm. what is the mistake i just go back and see if we have that username and password yes we have this username Okay, let's try once again this one. Muhammad Global Admin 2 adds UMP3121V on Microsoft.com. Okay, next. Account doesn't exist. Okay, let me try one because we have one also. And we logged in many times with username one. It says no. My goodness. Okay, see here, this is my Firefox window and I'm already logged in with, see this username, Muhammad Global Admin 1 at uh, view account. I just want to see the complete username. Ah, it asks again, but anyway, it's not logged in out. Just asking to confirm yes so see here this is oh this is one z hmm no no three one two one z yeah it's the same thing so if i copy this thing why this account is not recognized by microsoft uh my sort of edge because it's recognized by Firefox and it's not recognized by maybe now no surprising but Edge and Microsoft does not let it come in uh, but we have already logged in into the Firefox and we have this username and account and it's working. But anyway, the idea is not so complicated. Oh, sorry, maybe somebody is waiting. No, somebody is saying something in the chat. It's in privacy, search and service. Sorry, what some students are saying. Uh, search and services 
sorry i'm not able to understand your question or comments but it's okay uh, let's go to uh, our uh, lecture that what we were wa uh, what we wanted to do okay what we wanted to do we just want to see and we want to test that if we enable multi factor uh, authentication how it works it's simple when we enable multi factor authentication everything goes fine microsoft system will not let us allow just with username and password on the top of username and password it will ask through our phone of course on the first try it will register our phones and then we will download an app in our phones and then uh, the account will be registered at there and then every time it will send a request to authenticate and when we authenticate from our phone then we will be able to reach to our account so this is the main idea and i think so even we are not able to reconfirm because right now i'm logged in already and i don't want to log out uh, from that side but i'm not able to log in through edge uh, somehow the system is not recognizing the same username and password that is already recognized by firefox but it's okay let's go ahead and this one i just close and edge i will also close so in our powerpoint we can see that we have uh, we can go into admin and we have seen that we can reach to uh, this uh, site this page that active user and then in the active user we have multi-factor authentication and then we go there and we can uh, enable on this page we can enable this one or we can disable also this one but microsoft works on their own uh, i will say as the site likes to work even i disable it still asks me for uh, two step authentication multi factor authentication uh, okay so now we have seen how we can enable and disable this multi factor authentication if it is enabled it will ask us again and again two times sometimes it's annoying but it's good to keep the hackers away uh, this screen we have seen very often and after 14 days this policy is uh, is enforced for all the users when we will we will will be able to complete that setup on the on the phone it will look like this sign in with microsoft and then on the computer screen we will see a screen similar screen like this and of course uh, my sort of some sometimes like this and i tried few times and i was able to reach into my account yeah a couple of times the qr code sometimes also we can uh, scan it the system will generate a qr code and then we can scan it and then our account will be registered into our phone and then it will be easy next time to get the uh, invitation and just click it to authenticate it and we will be able to reach to our system to our main page we can enable and disable i have shown you already uh, so now we will see more aspects from our sharepoint sites we have already seen many aspects now today we will see some new aspects and some aspects we will just go into little more details uh, let me just see if the recording yes recording is working mic is not muted and everybody is fine so let's continue uh, last time we did some work on automate power automate and create a flow uh, no actually we have not done that together uh, i completed after the class and recording is still there uh, but i will start from this topic to uh, with the class so everyone we can work together uh, what is this when we go to our site we can go reach to this power automate page from many links uh, but what it does some tasks that we can do ourselves but it will take time and also some effort and of course it cannot be automated like uh, every time if a new file is added into my documents means uh, in sharepoint we allow all of our organization for example to add whatever files they like to add into the documents of course they will not we don't expect just from junk but sometimes from the users we need to submit every day like end of the day 
the report of their activities or whatsoever we need to bring into our documents library. Then, for example, if admin likes to get notification every day at the end of the day or every time when some file is added or at the end of the week, uh, we can do that. And it can be uh, achieved more than one uh, ways. So, one way we will see achieving this function through Power Automate. And how we will start that, we can go to our uh, SharePoint first of all. Uh, this is our home page. Just to remember how we reach there. This is our admin center. And then next, uh, this is our uh, multi factor authentication. But we can close this one or we can just leave it. This is our PowerPoint admin center. And let me just make it little minimize. And I want to close this third. Now you know why I was trying to make it minimize. Just close this tab. And now we have three tabs home page, admin page, SharePoint admin page. So it's not uh, confusing. And on share, uh, SharePoint admin page, admin center page, we go to sites and active sites. And here we have our sites. I have uh, active sites. I want to see the list of active sites. Let me see if this is my admin center. Yeah, this is my admin center. And this is my SharePoint admin center. This is my home. I want to go sites. On, I want to go on active sites. When I click here, I see the list of the sites. I have just created two sites for today's exercises. I have kept the name. So uh, in, uh, in a try to keep it informative and to remember it easily that which sites we were working, we are working. I have given it name like this A1. Uh, A1 helps to keep it on the top of the list. Uh, site by Muhammad for week four. So we can remember that we were working on this site because many, many uh, aspects uh, go with each site. Like, for example, the documents that we have included, we have down, we uploaded into this site will be, of course, available in, in this site. So what we were going to do, we want to do, we want to practice uh, uh, our automate flow. So this is the information of the site. And this can be the, this is, will be the main page of the site when we click on this link, the address. So this is the site. I just created the site simple and quick and then just added uh, a chain, a uh, few things, just a couple of things, not a lot of, lot of work. And we just reach on the main page. This is our main page. And if we go to the documents or if we go to the pages, we can see our automate and there we will uh, start creating uh, our automate session. We can see here, so if we don't see, we go to the pages see this is automate uh, on the pages but it's not necessary to select a page we can just connect it auto our automate create a flow see your flows and configure page approval flows uh, whatever we can start we can just start with creating a flow or we can see whatever flows we have already i just click on create a flow in this one uh, system gives us a uh, couple of templates that are uh, very helpful, life saving. If we want to create ourselves, uh, of course, that is not uh, very difficult, but we need to study and we need to know uh, what we are going to do. And we can just try to start with these uh, already created templates, and then easily we will be able to test, first of all, first of our flow and then we can uh, we can explore more and more capabilities whatever time we have means that then the students can do on their own whatever extra they want to like want to do and let's see uh, this one is send a customized email when a new file is added uh, this is good and if for example any customer adds a new file here any colleague adds a new file here, I can get a notification on my email. And of course, nowadays emails are open on our phones always. Uh, so we, I will get a notification right away. 
if there are not too many files or if we have not too many employees. Uh, but if there are too much employees or too many files every day are coming and we like not every day, we can later customize it also just to get one email at the end of the day or one email at the end of the week. We will see. We just start with this one, click on this one and see what happens. A new page is opened and here the title we will see send a customized email then a new I just close it action required one of your connection need okay re-authenticate the connections this is just a regular process don't worry about this uh, it's not really necessary for everybody uh, these are the connections uh, I will little bit explain to you later I just close this one process mining no we don't need this one we were at our home this is uh, uh, see when we are at the home this is power authenticator sorry sorry power automate authenticator is still into stuck into my mind sorry okay so we are at home of power automate we started one process but that was just uh, in between somewhere uh, discontinued because some authentication was required maybe we can start it once again or if not then we can start from our own liking let me go to the previous tab and in automate and in power automate and create a flow let's see what happens now previous flow was not continued in the creation process of creation okay now Send a customized email when a new file is added. Okay, we want to do this. Send you solo someone, and what we will do uh, if we go ahead with this one, there will be three connections being in use. Uh, it says that uh, SharePoint permissions are okay. We see this green tick, but this one we don't see, and this one also. So we click on this one and see what happens. We want to log in into our Office 365 Outlook, and we want to log in into our Office 365 users. And we want to log in into our SharePoint for this exercise. So this will be a very good example of collaboration and automation. And we click here. We don't want to switch the account. We want to see what is the error. We fix, try to fix the connection. That will, I believe, just ask us for the login. So we, yeah, signed in. It says signed in. And it will just try to fix it. Yes, it is fixed. We go again, try to log in once again. They will ask us which login, this login we want to use, and in a minute, yeah, if it is possible, it will be fixed. Just need to re-log in. Now, all green for three ticks. So it means now uh, we are okay to go create the flow. Okay, we click on create the flow. And this will, soon we will see that flow is created with a already built template and this looks like just a magic something happened but we don't know what happened so now we will explore uh, so what we will do this is the information these will be the connections owner is this one no run yet in last 20 of course we created right now we can add it and see what are the details of this flow in this flow we have three sections that system has created automatically to understand we have three cards here when a file is created this is our uh, trigger this is our starting point whenever a file will be created where i will show you on this point where we have started sorry sorry not on this one these are our sites one site that we were in sorry i will click carefully this one this is our site this is the site name and in this site we clicked on pages and in the pages we are here but of course if we see there are documents and in the documents here we see we have two documents already if a third document will be added here then this system this power uh, sorry i just closed this this uh, tab and when this will be in effect it is created already and in fact already and we were just we are exploring that how it works we will see in a minute but what will happen whenever we will add a file into this document folder that is the document folder of our site and in the same file same site we are creating an automatic sorry automated flow uh, that we call power flow and power automate 
then it will work uh, like a trigger if some students have worked in database they know the terminology of trigger that some events happen and then some other event system will be system will start another event another task so when the file will be added into this folder system will send an email to our uh, outlook account we have not yet opened uh, here outlook but we will open soon and we will see there will be a new email so this is the flow if we click on these uh, cards one by one we can see the detail also not very complicated but very interesting see what will happen here site address this is my site address that i have started with so on this site address library name this is the name of the library and folder site pages sorry because i started from site pages sorry this is my mistake i was thinking it will go to documents but it will not go to documents it will go to site pages if anything is created in site pages then an email will be generated we can change it anyway if we like we can change from here and uh, we can browse and on this site of course and within this library we have form server templates we have images we have lists we have shared documents if we like we can click on share documents because that is easy we have we can upload the documents or create a document very easily of course we can create easily a site page also this is our uh, choice whatever we want to for example uh, let's say we want to start from the share documents then we click on share documents and here it will it will just say share documents folder so now whatever uh, if a new file will be added into shared documents the email will start okay so we have done one change here we just close it back we go to what will be the next next will be uh, that our information will be taken from here given name and email and provided to the next step and it will send an email uh, to mail that will be that was given from here taken from here and subject this will be new file added file name will be added into the subject and body of the email will be like this for example we can change some things if we like i just change to uh, delete these i just leave it like this uh, given name hi given name like hi muhammad it will say in the body of the email uh, created by this name whatever whoever has created added a new file let me just uh, see here right now so this is just one word that will show you show us that yes this is the email that we have created with our power automate flow and i'm just writing adding a word here add an added a new file right now okay now we know this is our sentence if it is there okay let me add one thing more right now in the in the shared documents folder now we are sure that this is our work that we have done and this is the email that will be created and it will go to this email address that is my email address whichever address is actually here you know this one this address okay and we can have more options also of course there are advanced options and we have all this name attachments we can send attachments also we can uh, write from we can cc we can add bcc uh, add new items whatever we like and if of course sensitivity we can select here uh, confidential company info only for employees uh, sensitivity label to enter a custom value we can add remember these no probably you you will you have not seen already uh, we have created i have created these labels we will see how to or maybe we have created in the last class if not then we will see in this class if we have label sensitivity labels we can select here if not we can enter a custom value also uh, sensitivity is normal sensitive for example i'm just writing a word normal sensitivity sensitivity yeah uh, so let's please give me a one minute break please stay with me Meanwhile, I see if anybody is waiting there, recording is working, mic is not muted, nothing new in the chat and nothing new in the, nothing new is making the participants. Just give me a minute. Okay.
okay so I just change this value just to show that how we can change the values that's it's not really complicated not really important if even we don't change any advanced options it will be still working and now we know what will happen overall picture whenever a file will be created into this folder our information will be picked up by the system and send an email the system will send an email uh, to this email address uh, to tell us that one new document is added uh, this is what is this this is one small uh, power automate flows we just call it flows like this is simple a small app we can say this is a small application and Microsoft says that power automate and they have many templates that we can use and quickly create uh, simple flows uh, right there from the starting and uh, we can add a new step also later we will see uh, adding another step to add to do a little bit more tasks but right now we say right now we save and see how it works and if it's really working or not okay first of all we have to save it so we click save our uh, flow is saved uh, so friends, this is the name of the flow send a customized email when a new file is added this is the name the system has given this name and five is also given by the name because I just tried sometimes before and now it is the fifth time that with the same uh, file name I am creating so this is giving number five we can change it or we can whatever we like but afterwards it has to be a unique name in the same folder uh, uh, okay so yeah this is saved uh, your flow is ready to go we recommend you to test it okay first of all we can click on flow checker it will check it has been fine it says zero error zero warnings and we can test it we can do like this from here or we can test it manually how but we have to set the trigger we just do the trigger and see if the email comes it's ready it will happen it will do that but we can click on test also if we click on test it comes here manually or automatic automatic will work only if we have done before once or twice okay the manual we click manually it says test okay how we test click on test the system will say uh, to see it worked now perform the starting flow run failed because of course we have not done anything yet send a customized email when a new flow is added error detail to make this flow in inspect the inputs to this action and ensure they would find the right source find the right source okay error detail yes how to fix to make this flow work inspect the inputs to this action and ensure they would find the right source Hmm. maybe we have not changed the right thing that it said input from the this site library name and folder share documents maybe it's not found I have changed it from share documents to share documents and it was actually before starting from the site pages okay we can let's say just click it back to the site pages and see what happens this is like uh, how we do sometimes our troubleshooting this is the actual run now we can close it and we can go back and change our actual flow this flow and here we change it we go back to site pages let's see what happens uh, there are site pages site pages before it was site pages so let's see if it works site pages we just go to save because before it was site pages we save it and it is saved we test it no sales no warning already at that also but anyway let's test it once again manually test and the system will say to see it work perform the starting action now I have to create a site page into my site page folder so this is my SharePoint for sites and this is my actual site and these are my site pages okay let me create another new site page so see what happens okay new site page and as soon as it will be saved we should get an email uh, hmm, before that I should oh that's already saved uh, but anyway uh, we will see I want to show you first that if there is an email already or no how we do that we go here and we check in the outlook we start our outlook and this should be in the same username see this username okay this is outlook my outlook in this login 
a new file added it says already uh, it says some other things also but no problem we'll see later but we click here and see it says new file added okay but it says also delivery has failed we don't worry about this uh, this message what i have done i have just created all together a new account and tested all together a new power flow and that worked fine this message was not there so somehow our i studied into the help files and microsoft says that somehow your this account uh, is sending too much email so they considered it as a spam sending email you know why because whenever i add a file or add a page it sends an email so the system uh, has stamped it as a spam so it is not sending the deliveries but anyway even then the 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 email is coming to my folder that is uh, good at least so no problem if you guys will make this uh, app you will not see this message you will see only this message most probably that new file has added okay for example i just delete some of the emails for today so we see if it can be this is yesterday this is today so i'm just deleting all these emails that i have received today you know just test emails you have successfully created you have done this 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 not really very important emails so i'm just deleting all these emails to show us once again that this is all from yesterday see monday monday if an email comes it should be here as a new email see this is an example that here first it has been added and it was not stamped as a uh, as an email that is spam or something that is not finding the server and returning or the address is wrong something and then after that it started sending like that uh, but anyway uh, i'll go back and we will save this page and we will see what happens this is our new page i just write here uh, new test page to test the uh, power automate function okay this is our new site page new test page to test the power automate function okay so just as simple this is a new page and we publish means we save it so i publish it publishing and it's published add page navigation yes add is to the page navigation so later i can easily reach to this page and i can close this one and go back to our main site uh, so this was our main site no home is different okay so i click on the home this is the home of our new website and here we will find some there see new page to test schedule no this is schedule capabilities new page to test navigation we will know user information a file new not this one so which page sorry i have added it into and it should be and let me see no yes but it says your flow runs successfully why because the flow was starting expecting that we create a new page into the uh, site pages and a page was created into the site pages and the flow was run successfully and the system sent an email so here the result we can see it is run successfully tick 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 zero seconds zero seconds one second and uh, we can go back also see the number of runs also we'll go soon shortly but first of all i want to go to email and see if there is a new email see yes there is a new email and this time it was the system was nice it has not sent uh, another message that my email system was sending too much spams uh, no this is a new email but why this said a username 05 csv is added come on no no sorry sorry i have to click on this one this was previous day. Sorry, students. Please forgive me. Sometimes I'm confusing to see these things. Okay, so this one. See, this is the new email, and this is 
they see the time is somehow different of the Microsoft server from my computer. I'm at 7.02 p.m., but my uh, Microsoft server is at 12 a.m. But anyway, the date uh, I hope will be the same. See, where is the date on this one? Yeah, 2 2. Now, on the system of Microsoft, it's too advanced. It's not already 2nd of February, but it's still 1st of February. But at least it's not the older date, it's newer date. It means it came right now. And we can see all the things that we have added. See, new test page to test the Power Automate function ASPX has been changed. So, this was the notice that came to us. And title and anything, all the information is here. Uh, so now we can see this is our uh, email that is generated from the system and uh, if we go here it shows reply forward no I want to see uh, view message details hmm. somehow I added right now so i cannot find of course like this but maybe i can like control f control f lines here somewhere yeah okay on this control f if i click if i write uh i have to, uh, document library hmm. if uh, it was still there document yes three no, that's checking on the other page, not on this page. But yeah, here also. See, remember this was the message that I wrote there to tell me the changes in the document library. No, I haven't written this one. Oh, this was still an other uh, flow that have worked. So that email was here already. Okay, no problem. We will see the new email also. First of all, let me go back and see this run was successful, of course, and it should send a message to this email. I will see on this one that what happened. When we go to this flow, we can see exactly what happened. So this step worked and it checked on site pages and all these things happened then after that connection was used ms at the same connection and go to second step and what second step did uh, mail to this is a given name and mail to ms at the same email address and then go to the, the information went to the third uh, box and what happened that two subject new file added Hi, Muhammad. MS added a new file right now in the shared documents folder. Oh, sorry. Not uh, documents, but let me see if we have shared documents folder there in our email, if it is reached already there. Because sometimes email takes a little time to uh, reach there. Okay. So, system said it is successful, so email should come with this information. And it will be written in the email that new file added. And the name of the file will be like this, ASPX starting with 03 new file added subject will be like this new file added okay we see we go there and see if the mail is there already here we don't see an email yet let me just refresh and the email is not received yet but i hope so it will arrive soon because here the system says that system has sent already the email with this information and with a special subject line that is we don't see that here uh, this subject line but system says it is successful the email was sent 
Okay, so we can go one step behind also. This was the actual run and we can see the actual code of this run that how this worked. When we go back, we can see here details that here also comes a uh, succeeded message and the time when the run was done. Uh, it was done on 5, uh, 6.57 p.m. This was uh, actual uh, about 10 minutes ago. The system says that this run was successful. So this is at least our uh, first uh, success that our uh, flow worked successfully. Uh, now I would like to take uh, just five minutes break and stop our recording. We have already more than uh, one hour, one hour and six minutes uh, and then we start a new recording. We just take five minutes break and we'll be back quickly. I just